In today's video, we are going to discuss the components of magnetic resonance imaging. MRI machines vary in both size and shape. The older designs had a more compact and small space and were very close. This affected the patients mentally and usually scared them even before they went in the examination. However, the engineers have tried to solve the problems by improving the machine to be more open and inviting. They have expanded the sides and included much more space in the scanner than the original models. The basic design of a magnetic resonance imaging scanner is the same in almost all machines. The scanner consists of a 24-inch wide tube which the examination takes place. It also contains a magnet, a radiofrequency coil, region coils, patient table, and a computer system. The first component is the magnet. The magnet is the most important and biggest part of the MRI device. It is the magnet that allows the MRI machine to produce high-quality images. There is a horizontal tube that runs through the magnet and is called a bore. The magnet is extremely powerful and its strength is measured in either Tesla or Gauss. Most MRI magnets use a magnetic field of 0.5 to 2.0 Tesla when the Earth's magnetic field is only 0.5 Gauss. The magnetic field is produced by passing current through multiple coils that are inside the magnet, resulting in a state of superconductivity, which produces a lot of energy by reducing the resistance in the wires to zero. There are three types of magnets used in MRI, the permanent magnets, the resistive or electromagnets, and the superconducting magnets. The first type of magnet is the permanent magnet. It is simple and cheap to run, extremely heavy and do not generate high fields. The early commercial magnets are made from ferrite in the 1930s and alloy gold alnico or aluminum, nickel, and cobalt was developed. A brick-like ceramics are the new material today. The magnetic field strength is 0.3 Tesla. Magnetic field homogeneity is 50 to 100 ppm. Weight capacity is 90,000 kg. Cooling system is not required. And the power consumption is 20 kilowatts. The second type of magnet is the resistive magnet. These are electromagnets wherein the magnetic field is generated by an electric current flowing through a coil. Magnetic field homogeneity is 10 to 150 ppm, weight approximately 4,000 kg. Cooling system use is water heat exchanger and the power consumption is 80 kilowatts. The third type of magnet is the superconductive magnet. It is made of materials with no electric resistance when placed at a temperature close to absolute zero. Niobium titanium is the metal used. Magnetic field homogeneity is 1 to 10 ppm, weight approximately 10,000 kg. Magnetic field strength is 0.3 to 4.0 Tesla. Power consumption is 20 kilowatts. Cooling system used is the cryogen composed of helium and nitrogen, and it is enclosed with a giant container called the WAR, and it is the most commonly used in MRI system. The second component is the gradient coils. There are three different gradient coils that are inside the MRI machine and are located within the main magnet. Each one of these produce three different magnet fields that each less strong than the main field. The gradient coils create a variable field of X, Y, and Z that can be increased or decreased to allow specific and different parts of the body to be scanned by altering and adjusting the main magnetic field. The next component is the radio frequency coil or the RF coils. The basic function of the RF coil is to transmit radio frequency waves into the patient's body. There are different coils located inside the MRI scanner to transmit waves into different body parts. If a certain area of the body is specified, then all the RF coils usually become focused on the body part being imaged to allow for a better scan. Another component is the patient table. This component simply slides the patient into the MRI machine. 
the position at which the patient lies down on the table is determined by the part of the body that is being scanned. Once the part of the body under examination is in the exact center of the magnetic field, which is referred to as the isocenter, the scanning process is started. The last component of an MRI scanner is the computer system. The computer system is a powerful system whose major function is to receive, record, and analyze the images of the patient's body that has been scanned. It interprets the data sent in by the antenna and then helps to produce an understandable image of the body part being examined.